What's up guys, it's your boy Retrox Reflex and in today's video we're going to be reviewing three players from the Chinese League, three Brazilians, it's going to be Alex Teixeira, it's going to be uh, Anderson Talisca and it's going to be Paulinho's inform pair. So two rule breakers and an inform all from the Chinese League, all three very good players. Uh, let's just look at these stats very quickly, we're going to start with Alex Teixeira, bomb for 280, he, his pressure range was at 300k. And uh, he did get a press range increase. He shot up all the way to like 480. Unfortunately for me, I didn't sell him in time. He's around like 370, but you know, still some nice profit there. Let's just take a look at his press range. 550, a little bit too high. So he's going to go down in value a lot. That's my pr prediction. And these new rule breaker cuts, it only impacts for like three and a half days. So they're going to get rare. So, you know, stay tuned for that. They're not going to be in a division rival reward. So. The supply is going to be very limited, so keep an eye out for that. Make sure you pick him up before he goes out of path. So it's, I think they're going to skyrocket, but look at Teleska here. He's an SPC. Oh, sorry, we got to still look at Teixeira. What am I even talking about? High, low work rates for us, but still moves first their week for it. The pace got, um, no, the pace got, uh, not nerfed, but, uh, it, what's it off? I guess it declined. I don't know. It's only at 87, but if you put the hunter back on, he has like 90, 97 pace. So, you know, it's still good enough. Uh, the shooting went up a lot. I did play with his goal card, and this card's so much better than the goal card in terms of uh, finishing and dribbling. Like the dribbling on this card is insane, absolutely insane. Shooting is insane, uh, and he feels much stronger. Just overall, a much better card. No traits, unfortunately. So. You know that's a shame but with a low rated uh gold card that's to be expected but yeah this guy's amazing moving on to the spc player anderson taliska high low work rates four star skill moves four star weak for uh he has the finesse shot tray outside first shot tray two very good traits especially for a cam or a striker and uh since he has high low you can play him at either of those positions very viable uh he is six for three so you know having a player that fast you know this agile um, with that height is just very very good um, Very good pace. I put the engine on him just to boost up that agility a little bit more pace a little bit more Passing a little bit more, but you can go a hunter. You can go finisher sniper. It's really up to you um, Looking at looking at it now. Maybe a, the one that gives you shooting and dribbling, which I think is a sniper sniper finisher We're gonna save uh, finisher uh, sniper actually, but yeah, very very good uh, Very good stats all around it goes for 70k uh, the SPC cost 70k rather and it's not a bad price I mean if you don't have a Brazilian team if you don't have you know if you don't have Paulinho or Teixeira wouldn't really pick him up but uh, it is a nice card to have uh, it's hard to tell what to you know put your cards into SPC these days because um you know the icon SPCs are gonna come out again this year so I don't know if you guys should hold on to that or put into this guy, but with if you want a really good player, like you know, someone you can bring off the bench as well in weekend league, like this guy's really good. He's really reliable, very consistent. You see the 34 games played, 36 goals, 16 assists. This guy was lighting it up. And uh last but not least, Paulinho. He goes for about 140k right now. I was lucky to get him in my player picks, which uh you know, that really influenced me to buy a, a, to get Talisca. So if you do have a Paulinho untradeable, definitely do Talisca. That's my advice to you. But he has to finesse out trade, power free kicks. Offensively, he's not bad actually. His dribbling is really, really good. He's dribbling past a lot of people. Uh, the finishing is very good. Uh, long shots, I, I don't know if it was because I was a ways man, but some of the shots were just going super wide. So yeah. I don't know too much about the long shots, but inside the box, very good. With the shadow, uh, you know, plus 10 pace, very, very fast for a CM, CDM player. Uh, you know, the friendly stats are insane, great jumping, 84 strength, 94 stamina, like the guy's insane. Um, and you know, these three guys, along with uh, Douglas Costa, which I will be doing a review on in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Um, these guys were a joy to play with. And um, yeah, let's just get right into the clips. Okay guys, here we are with the clips. So let's talk about, I'll talk about Paulinho first, just because there's not a lot of clips with him. Uh, so offensively, you know, he has good headers. He can win some headers uh, off of corners. Uh, that's the only time he's really gonna be in the box for you, unless, you know, you send him forward all the time. And even then, um, I was sending him forward just to get some offensive clips and I didn't really, 
Gany had a soul, but off corners, he can score you some headers. You saw that crazy header, back header right there. Um, pace is really good, guys. Uh, his finishing's not that bad. Like I said, you know, some shots, I don't know if it was me being a waste man, but like some shots were going super wide. I don't know if that was just me aiming or him. But, uh, you know, I guess if you're right outside the box, you can definitely get some long shots if you're open. But uh, nothing spectacular with the shooting. The passing is very good. Dribbling, well, dribble, pa dribbling past a few guys. So, I mean, not too bad. And, you know, defensively, he's just a, he's just a stud. A lot of interceptions, a lot of tackles, uh, slide tackles are pretty good as well. So, and he's uh, very fast with the hunter, uh, sorry, with the shadow, with uh, 84 pace. So, I mean, not a bad player at all. I think if, if he was in the Prem and he had this exact same card, he would be like, 200k easily 220k so i think he is a really really good player and uh like the 140 price tag is not bad at all just make sure you do talisker if you do want to play with this guy because it'll just make you know linking a whole lot easier um and yeah but that's paulinho now on to we'll go with uh talisker so that was paulinho we're talking about talisker now this guy's insane he's absolutely insane uh you can definitely use him as a super sub uh, just if you're not rolling with that uh, Chinese league team all the time or a Brazilian uh, team, I definitely bring him off the bench. But if you're starting him, man, like he's insane. He's absolutely insane. The pace is really, really good, guys. He's 6'3. He has 87 pace, high low work rates, and 90 agility with 82 finishing. is not bad. And you could definitely boost that with different chemistry styles. Um, like I said, I think Sniper, I would have rather had Sniper on him. Or I think. Yeah, I think Sniper, but, yo, this guy's really good. Um, shot power's insane. The long shots are really, really, really good with him. Um, I was banging on a, quite a decent amount of long shots. Power shots are really good. They're going top bins. Uh, you can shoot top bin shots, and they're going to go in with accuracy. Um, the passing is really, really good. Agility at 90. You can dribble past people. 85 dribbling plus 10 with an engine. So 95 dribbling, uh, 95 ag agility, uh, plus 10 on the balance as well. So 89 balance. He is really, really good at dribbling. Uh, good heading accuracy at 80. 71 strength. Really good for a cam or even as a striker. And that, guys, the high-low work rates make such a big difference. Like high-low is really, 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 really good. Um, it just makes him much better. If he was high-medium, I guess for a cam it wouldn't be that bad, but... If you're gonna play him as a striker, high low is insane. And speaking about high low, we're gonna talk about Alex Teixeira next. I put a hunter on him, like I told you before. High low work rates. This guy is so speedy, so quick. I played with the gold um, pace, felt the same as the gold, honestly. But the finishing, there's a big difference. And I think finishing is the finishing, the shooting, um, just a big difference. The shot power is so good. Uh, the long shots. Attack positioning is really good. He's always making forward runs. 91 attack positioning plus 5. Uh, sorry. Yeah, 91 attack positioning plus the high-low work rate. He's making a lot of runs and he's so fast that he's going to get breakaways for you a lot. Especially if your opponent's playing a high line. If you're counter-attacking, you're going to be gone. But the biggest difference from him in the gold is definitely, definitely the dribbling. 95 agility. 84 dribbling. 85 ball control. 86 composure. He has 76 strength. He is amazing. He is so quick, so fast. And uh, yeah, him and Taliska is insane, man. Taliska is passing combined with his finishing. And you know, he has good passing that uh, he can, you know, have some, he can have a hand in, uh, you know, the build-up play, you know. He can set Taliska on a, a breakaway or Taliska can send him on a breakaway. You know, the one-twos between those guys and Douglas Costa, it's insane, man. Like those three guys offensively scored so many goals for me um just defensively i had a bad weekend league i don't know why i gotta work on my defending a little bit because i gave up a lot of leads but every game i was scoring a lot of goals per game i only played like 18 games yeah i played 18 games and i scored like 36 goals with this guy something like that but yo this guy's insane i would definitely recommend you guys picking him up and for the rest of these clips guys i'm just gonna let the music run and just enjoy the clips
Okay, guys, as you see here, I just show Douglas Costa and Alex Teixeira. I mean, like, before tax, like 80k. So after tax, that's like uh, 65k. Pretty good profit. I could have made more if I sold him right when the price range update came out. But you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that that team was so fun to play with, guys. If you want a fun team, man, this is a good team to look at. Uh, you know, Paulinho was very good defensively. These three guys, I'll do a Douglas Costa review uh, very in a in a day. But uh, yo, know, these three guys are insane, man. Like they were so fun to use. Like I just love using them, man. They were so good. Um, <clears throat> I think my favorite was I don't even have a favorite because they were so good in their own ways. But yeah, Tashir is an insane striker. I think he's just a bit overpriced. So maybe wait to buy him. Maybe buy him on a on Sunday. I think he goes out of packs on Tuesday night, I believe. Uh, yeah, that sounds right. Tuesday night. So, or I think Wednesday after. I think Wednesday at two. So, you know, uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe in the coming days, you can look to buy him when he goes down. Uh, he's gonna be very rare. So, you know, pick him up before he goes out of packs. Uh, Taliska. I think it's worth doing it, man. Just cause seventy k for a player like this, like. 34 games played, 36 goals scored, 16 assists from the camp position is insane. Um, and I'm not like the greatest FIFA player in the world. So, I mean, if I'm scoring that much goals with a player, like, he's pretty damn good. So, I, I think you should do him. I know I said it's kind of iffy. Um, if you know you're not going to rock a Brazilian league team or you a Brazilian team or you're not rocking a Chinese league team, ever don't bother because there's going to be more players coming out but this guy's a fun card to use i will say that and i wouldn't be mad if you guys you know pick them up and use them so yeah paulinho only get him if you're gonna get to Liska, you know like he's really good but there's no point of really getting him if you're just running a brazilian league team i don't think it's really worth it sorry brazil team now it keeps in brazilian league team but yeah him and Talisca though Two really good players, they're meant for each other, man. I'm telling you, they're meant for each other. You can't have a team, one without the other. So, uh, yeah, these three guys, really good. Had a lot of fun playing Weekend League with these guys. Uh, made it a little bit less stressful, but that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy, if you learned anything. The, all three of these guys are a definite buy. You got to try them out, man. Like, they're so good. They're so good. And, uh, yeah. Douglas Costa review coming in a day or two, so stay tuned for that. Keep your eyes peeled. And yeah, guys, that's all I really have to say. I will see you in the next video. I love y'all. Peace. I think you need a minute just for you to understand. I gotta know if you gon' hold it down if we in it. But otherwise, you gotta stand out and be where we win. The circumstance and the finance. I'm thankful for everything that's in my life. Mama stressing me out, she think I'm wasting all my time.